is that they think having a $1,000 fine for media organisations which breach suppression is not sufficient. And I agree with them. Um, you know, if media organisations want to get a lot of publicity, um, you know, and, and, and I mean, I think it's fair to say that probably the minister and I both get calls on Friday, Friday nights and Saturday mornings from Sunday papers uh, with case after case after case uh, that, that, that they glory in. Uh, and um, but they do have a case. You know, there, there is a there's, there's a reasonable. I think there's a reasonable point uh, there that there should be uh, an ability to focus on that. So the alternative is to provide the teachers' council, and this is in the amendment 12 DC, uh, where it, it's a very simple amendment. It doesn't mean that we write, rewrite the rules, but we change the $1,000 fine to a $100,000 fine, because what that would then do is allow the teachers' council to redo its rules, have proper suppression rules, which mean that they could name the teacher uh, but protect the child. And I think that's, that's something that uh, I think would be uh, reasonable and it would be something, and it would have a presumption of openness, because at the moment that is not the case. I call Calvin Davis.